Hello everyone, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year's, it is 2017. And I know a lot of you guys are concerned about filing taxes for Robinhood since it is year end. So I want to go over how to do that uh, to alleviate some of your stresses because it, I was a bit worried um, about it until recently when I came across this on their help center. So when you go to Robinhood Help Center, which I will drop down on the description below for you to review this if I go through it too quick. But if you go to the Help Center, shoot, this is not tax. Let's go to tax. Tax. Tax Center. Okay. So if you look down right here, it says your tax are available in mid-February following each year. You have sold stock or received at least $10 in dividends. So if you've sold stocks, whether it's a gain or a loss, or if you've gained at least $10 of dividends, you do have to file a taxes. You do have to file claim your earnings or losses. And mid-February is actually normal. That's the same with um, Scott Trade, Ameritrade, and uh, E-Trade. If you use those, they, usually it's mid-February that the documents become available. So what the document does is you can convert it to a PDF and then what it's going to have is the date that you trade, you buy or sell, the stock, whether it's Apple, uh, Whiting, MRO, whatever it is, um, so the little abbreviation. And then it's going to have the amount and it's going to have how many shares. So those four, those four items, the date, the name, the amount, and how many shares when you buy or sell. You have to manually type that in. It comes in a PDF form and you have to manually uh, type that in. And this is how you access it. You go into account and then you go to tax and then tax doc. Then you select it and you just download the PDF and then manually input it when you're filing taxes. That was Android and I'm going to show, sorry, that was uh, iOS. I'm going to show you Android now. Account, tax documents, same thing. However, if you do use TurboTax, then you are able to link the two accounts together, your TurboTax and your Robinhood, and it will transfer all of your inputs over, then you don't have to manually type it in, which I highly recommend if you have anywhere over, let's say 50 transactions, because I've done it before where I manually type it in and it took a long time. And I did this back when I was doing binaries and I traded um, binaries on Nadex. It's a huge hassle. You're talking about a lot of manual inputting and you might, uh, it might not be accurate as well. So I highly recommend using TurboTax if you have anywhere from 50 or more buy or sells. And you know if you have 50 or more by that uh, at the end of the year, uh, at the beginning of the year, Robinhood gave you that message of how much you saved. It showed me that I saved $1,700 in commission, which uh, they say that it's $10 per trade. So that's about 170 trades. So if yours is, if it's stated that you saved more than $500 of commission, I strongly recommend just getting TurboTax, okay? Getting TurboTax to file your, uh, file your taxes. And how it works is when you're filing, filing your taxes there's going to be a section called investment once you select that it will ask for uh, if you want to input your broker select that select Robinhood enter in your credentials to log into Robinhood and the two account will link up that's it it's easy so I'm going to click uh, TurboTax for you to show you what kind of tax they're talking about there are four types of uh, versions for TurboTax there's a federal free Addition, if you only have like a W-2, you only want to enter in what you made. Very simple, very quick. It's free. For $34.99, the deluxe, you can maximize your tax deductions and credit with this, such as um, interest, school interest, or um, let me see what else, uh, charitable no donations. And... Premier, this is what Robin Hood was talking about. You need at least Premier to be able to manually enter in your taxes. For Premier, it's investment uh, in rental properties. So investments such as bond stocks, mutual funds, um, dividends, 
then you need Premier. However, you can also use self-employed, which costs a bit more. This is for personal and uh, business income if you run a personal business. Uh, or myself, I have to use this one. Since I do YouTube, I do have to use self-employed. I also want to make note that if you guys do have a Sam's Club membership, go buy it from there. Like you see right here, it says self-employed is uh, $114.99 on sales for $89.99. You can actually get it. All of them, I get mine at Sam's Club every year. So this is my Sam's Club uh, home and business edition. And I got it for only 70, it was 79.86, but it was $15 off. So I actually only paid 65 for it. And it's always like that every year. The Sam's Club always sells is the cheapest from what I've seen. That's the poster here. So this is $90, I got it for 65. And if you've never used uh, TurboTax before, don't worry about it. TurboTax and H&R Block nowadays, it's so intuitive. You do not need to be an account to be able to do it. It will ask you, it will ask how many people live with you, how old are they, uh, and they will ask you certain question to identify whether they're a dependent or not. It will ask for your address. It's, it's as if you're sitting there and the question that it prompts, it's almost like someone's sitting there asking you questions. So you just answer all the questions. And depending on how complex your taxes are, with anywhere from 15 to 15 minutes to an hour, you'll be done. Okay, so don't, if you've never done it before, try it out. You do, you shouldn't be paying for, uh, you shouldn't be paying an account to do your taxes unless you have complex taxes where you need to do certain tax planning. Uh, or self-employed then that I highly and this is coming from an account uh, don't hire an account to do your taxes for you if all you do is if you work in a company and you get a w-2 do it yourself or if you have uh, if you work for a company and do simple investments just stock investment just do it yourself and if you have any questions on filing your taxes on TurboTax please uh, drop it down below I'm gonna try my best to answer it as soon as I can Remember when you buy it, don't buy the deluxe version because that's not the one that will allow you to enter in uh, investments. You need to either get the Premier or the self-employed. So if you find this video helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe, and I hope every single one of you guys have a wonderful 2017. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.